Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I need to replace the SD card on this Rack V2 Hotspot Miner Router, whatever you guys want to call it, because it essentially has stopped working. I don't know if it's because, yes, there might be only a 16 or 32 gig SD card in here and the blockchain size is, I believe, bigger than that now. So this thing has essentially stopped gaining rewards uh, according to my uh, Helium app. And so I believe it's because of the SD card and so we need to replace it with a 64 gig SD card on this thing. Before I begin, I just want to be honest with you all here. I have been living under a rock when it comes to anything regarding helium or hot spots or anything like that in the past, I would say, past year. And I haven't made many videos regarding helium because I've been pretty demotivated regarding helium and just the fact of trying to buy these for the past last year was just a gong show. And there's been so much drama there's been so much anger, there's been so much noise regarding buying these helium hotspots out there in the world in the past year and you know what, I was just like so demotivated to make any kind of video regarding helium because people were, were incredibly mad trying to get their hands on these and I, I was just like, you know what, that's something I don't want to be a part of and something in where I it just doesn't make sense to make videos because people are just mad regarding buying these and there are plenty of other YouTube videos out there of people waiting to buy these, of pre-ordering these types of hotspots, there's like lots of these out there and I think MNTD is a is a new latest one recently. This is looks like an MNTD, but this one I got from I think Cal Chip Connect. But regardless, you know, these things are <laughs> It, 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 a lot of these have come online the network. Actually, I wanted to show you guys that right now on the Helium Explorer before we uh, replace the SD card because my hotspot's been offline for like a month now. As you guys can see, as of recording this video, it is February 19th of 2022. There are 585,341 hotspots now on the network. I think the last time I made a video regarding Helium, I think there was like 20,000 or 15,000 hotspots and man, I cannot believe this many hotspots have come online since like eight months or six months ago. I think, I, I don't even remember the last time I made a Helium video. Again, I've been living under a rock. I have no idea what's been happening on Helium or there's so many different hotspot mo models now. This is something, wow, that's crazy. I know Bobcat's a big one, Synchrobit. Uh, see, there's, an, there's a lot of drama regarding this. Calchip Connect, Helium, the original hotspot, which I have. I have one of these, which I do need to replace as well, okay? Not only do I have to replace my, my Rack V2, but also my original one as well. So anyways, I just wanted to start off with that in this video. I just wanted to express my feelings regarding the helium hotspots and everyone trying to attain these things and it, it was just it was just never ending and I was sick and tired of hearing about it and so it didn't make sense for me to make any videos regarding helium so this guy's been off for like I think more than two months now and I just I didn't really care about it at all but here we are I had this video on my radar to make and I essentially I need to replace the SD card. So guys, let's go ahead. Please let me know your thoughts of what I just uh, said before. I think a lot of people have been getting their hotspots now. Uh, maybe not, I I'm not quite sure. Let I, I, I wanna gauge the community here, so please let me know down below if you guys ordered a hotspot last year and if you ever got it, and if you did, how long did it take for you to get it? You know, I, I just wanna know. So give me your success stories or failure stories. Either way, I just wanna gauge the community here. All right guys, so I just took an SD card, micro SD card, 64 gig from a brand new uh, RevTech board that I just reviewed, you guys know, because I didn't wanna wait to order one on Amazon. These, these are cheap enough anyway, like 10 to $20, depending on in which model you get, but 64 gig. So this should handle essentially the Helium blockchain size 
and have the capacity, I guess, for a little while, maybe. I've seen some recommendations online, people saying you should go for the 128 gigabyte. And so, uh, but I only have a 64 gig, like I said, so I'm just gonna do that right now. In this video, I'm gonna take this apart with you guys right now, and we will go through the process of, it, it's pretty easy. It's like burning HiveOS on an SSD. We're gonna use Bolina Etcher of burning the new firmware file, which I already downloaded, and we're just gonna have to go through this procedure here, which is, yeah, really easy, really easy. All right, let me get my camera on a tripod, and let's just take this thing apart. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I didn't read the instructions, and so initially I unscrewed all four of these Phillips screws at the top and the other four at the bottom, and I tried to take it out and had a hard time, and I was like, what the heck? Where's the SD card? This should be very easy. And so I, <laughs> I went and looked at the MNTD, like the procedure, which I just showed you guys. I didn't read the second step. It says, carefully peel off the tape protecting the micro SD card, and it is below the gold block sticker on the side of the miner where the antenna is, next to the status LED. Now that is right here, and I've already take I already tried taking it out, and the SD card is right here, and I just had to laugh at myself. So there it is. This is <laughs> that's it. You don't have to unscrew any of these screws to take out the SD card. I, I thought that was. Uh, you guys can go ahead. You guys can go ahead and laugh at me. So I don't have the proper plier or tweezers to take this out, so I've just been using a little knife here and kind of just shimming it a little bit out and then I can use these pliers. All right, so let's see what size. So it came out like this, so I'm gonna have to put the new one in like so, okay? So this is a 32 gig SanDisk. Can you guys see that? 32 gig SanDisk card, okay? so. We're gonna replace it with the 64 gig, but first I need to put the new firmware on the 64 gig. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna use a Kingston, uh, this is a SD and micro SD card reader. Okay, so we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna place this in the computer and we're gonna go to Bellina Etcher. Alternatively, you could use one of these SD card to micro SD card readers as well, but then you'll need a an SD card reader to go into your computer and your PC or Mac just so you can use Bellina Etcher. So let's go to Bellina Etcher. Okay, placing the SD card reader into the PC and that's the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Now we simply go to Bellina Etcher. I already have it installed on my PC. Next, we're gonna go to Flash from File, and we're gonna select the file we just downloaded from MNTD for the firmware for the Rack V2. Okay, that's selected. Now we're gonna select the target, which is the, looks like yeah, that showed up, the 64 gig SD card, micro SD card, and we're gonna hit Flash, and that's it. Very, very easy. Hit yes on that and it should start flashing. Okay, flash is complete. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna take out the micro SD card. We're gonna go back to my hotspot and we're gonna place the micro SD back in. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna, gonna take this out now. I have to place it in with the brand side at the bottom, okay? Just like so. Uh, nope, wow, okay, that, nope, that went straight into the hotspot. I gotta make sure I line it up. The micro SD slot is a little bit higher than what the opening is here, so you gotta really, really line it up. It's pretty, it's pretty tight. Okay, there we go. Okay, well that was extremely easy. Now I just wanna plug this in, make sure it turns on, and see if I can see it in the Helium app. Okay, I just plugged it in, and uh, I'm sure it's gonna connect to the Wi-Fi, and I believe it's supposed to update, so it's gonna, it's gonna take a while. Okay, so I had to Bluetooth pair to the Rack V2 because it wasn't connecting to the Wi-Fi, 
And so I think I had to redo the Wi-Fi network on this guy and yeah, it looks like it's connected. So it's probably gonna take a while to update. Okay, so it took about, I would say an hour to sync the blockchain. And uh, you guys can see I'm covering up some doxing information. I don't wanna show you guys. But anyways, you can see it looks like this thing wasn't online for about less than a month, 27 days. So I lied, it wasn't two months, it was less than a month. And actually I used an ethernet cable, uh, so that's why hopefully it was a lot faster syncing than through the Wi-Fi. And yeah, looks like it's good now, and it looked like it worked. Hopefully, I'm gonna see a lot more, I guess, HNT rewards, who knows? Obviously, I'm not gonna see a lot of rewards if I have it down here in a basement, so I'm gonna put this thing back up near the window, and I guess we'll see later on if I update you guys in a month or two of how much helium we have garnered ever since I changed the micro SD. That should be pretty awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. And if you guys have also changed your micro SD card on your Helium hotspot, if you guys had to do that. I'm gonna have to do this on my other Helium hotspot, the hotspot original. So, all right, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. And peace out.